Hou u mijn vrienden. Verbeel jou, je je geld bij elkaar gaan maken om je eerste effen te koop. Je is bij je opgewonden, want je weet, die effen is een kwaai wapen. Maar je weet niet hoe dat ding lekker werkt. Zo, so, today's video is a short video on how to properly use the effen rifle if you're a first time owner. Or if you have owned an effen before and you don't know how to properly use it, just watch the short video. Maybe you learn something. So let's get started. Let's go to the range. And let's play with your first FAL rifle. We're out here, first time FAL owner. So it's super cold out here, it's windy, so let's keep it short. And you can see the Halbeck device does its magic. We got an old Rhodesian mag from 1975. I have no clue if that works or not. If it does not cycle, it's going to be the mag spring. I think my gas system is properly regulated on it. So you saw, we hit something at 200 meters with this OEG. It's kind of hard because the tiny dot is twice as big as the gong we're shooting at. So it worked and it locked to the rear. It's kind of a big win for such an old magazine. So the first thing we're going to look at is the safety. The safety on an FAL rifle is always on the left side. It is a lever that you can operate with your thumb. Up is S, that stands for safe, and you can move it down to R which is repetitive. These are the South African markings on the FM. The second thing we're gonna look at is the magazine on how to properly insert it. As you can see in the short video, the magazine needs to be inserted at an angle. It's roughly a 45 angle and you move it all the way back and you click it or lock it into place. It's that easy. For the magazine release, you got a magazine release located on the right side of the rifle. The magazine release on my FAL is slightly extended. Yours might look different, but it's located in the same place and all you need to do is push it forward. Take your hand and do the final movement of getting the magazine out of the magwell. It might drop freely depending on your magwell, but usually you need to do the rest of it to take it properly out. The next swing we're gonna look at is the charging handle. On this one, I got a fixed charging handle. In order to charge it, all I do is move the charging handle back and let go. I don't assist it forward. The charging handle does not move when I shoot, which is kind of neat. For those on an inch pattern charging handle, it is just more work to flip your charging handle up and move it back. The thing we're going to look at is the gas regulator. You have a gas regulator sitting all the way up front on your, on top of your barrel, right next to your gas block. On the gas regulator, you got numerous settings. Play with it, figure out what setting. I did a video on that before, link below. The next thing we're gonna look at is the gas plug. Ensure your gas plug is properly seated and not on grenade setting, otherwise the rifle will not work. The last thing, gonna, the last thing, fuck, too much spinning <laughs> The last thing you're going to look at are the sights. You've got front sights, which you can adjust with a specific tool, link below, and you've got rear sights that you can slide up and down. They have different markings, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, meaning 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 meters. Side in your rifle at 200 meters, and then slide up, and you can set it to the correct um, distance. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to use your FAL if you're a first time owner. So thanks a lot, and next time we're going to talk about something a little different.